everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you a really great summertime appetizer that's kind of adventurous and really quite interesting. This is how to make cream cheese and green olive stuffed hollyhock blossoms. So I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you how to choose your hollyhocks, what hollyhocks are all about, and uh, I'll show you how to get started. Today um, we're celebrating my birthday and we're doing Christmas in July. So we're doing a beautiful uh, grilled turkey on the rotisserie on the, on the barbecue. We have some lovely, lovely side dishes that are kind of summarized recipes that are pretty traditional uh, for Christmas. Okay, this one is kind of a play on words because we're uh, stuffing hollyhock flowers. So that's where that comes in. Plus the green olives are red and green with the pimento stuffed in there. And I'm using some cucumber and some parsley. So let's go get these uh, hollyhock flowers and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so here are my hollyhock flowers. I have maybe a dozen blooming right now. I'm gonna take eight of them today uh, for our appetizer. Now, I'm gonna grab the ones that are the most open and the furthest in their bloom, okay? I also have some fuchsia ones in the back, but I wanna keep them all the same color. So I'm just gonna snip them off and then I'll deal with trimming them when I get inside. I wanna maintain their integrity. I don't want to break them in any way either. So we're just gonna snip them off right behind where the stem is. And I'll show you up close what they look like. They're absolutely beautiful. They're completely edible. The leaves are also edible. You can, you know, saute them up just like you would spinach or any other kind of green. And isn't that gorgeous? These are like a beautiful peach color. Um, the leaves are enormous, okay? They look like a giant, maybe even like a grape leaf, and they're even bigger as they go down. Uh, so you can use those to saute up. You can put them in soups and stews, or you can just use a whole bunch of them and make a side dish of greens. So continue on about your way and uh, snip your eight flowers. Make sure the flowers that you are uh, using are ones that you grew yourself from seed. Uh, you don't know what they've used on flowers that they've propagated that you're purchasing that are already large plants, okay? When you use a seed, you know exactly what you've done to them. The bees absolutely love this plant. In fact, right before I came out here um, to film, I was looking at them to see what I was going to do. And uh, there was great big honeybees in there getting all their nice pollen. I can see that there are a whole bunch more flowers that are going to bloom all the way up to the end here. They're still creating little buds. So we're good to go. We're gonna have a ton more blossoms. In fact, I believe the more that you trim these guys off, the more they propagate. It's like deadheading almost, okay? Also, when you do see that they're done, uh, the flowers are done, you do wanna deadhead them uh, to help them you know, create new buds and new balloons into the house. All right, so let's get started. We've got these gorgeous hollyhock flowers. Brush them off if you see that there is any dust or anything like that on there. Uh, but these are very, very clean. We've just had a rainfall. You don't want to wash these because they're just going to kind of flop and fall apart. And you don't, you don't want to do that. So we're just going to leave it just like this. And I'm actually not even going to cut off the end of the stem because you can eat all of this whole thing. Uh, and it's going to be easier to pick it up with this little green part on the end. God, they're so pretty. They look like they're fake, don't they? Gorgeous. So let's get this stuff, this filling made, okay? I have 125 grams of cream cheese and it's softened to room temperature. Uh, that's a half of a brick. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of plain yogurt. Now you could use cream if you want to. We're gonna see what the consistency is after we start mixing some things through. Now I have about two tablespoons of a nice finer minced um, English cucumber. It's got that beautiful green color in it. It's going to give us a little bit of crunch and a little bit of uh, beautiful uh, presentation. I want to keep things nice and small because I'm going to use a plastic, uh, resealable plastic bag to pipe this uh, filling into the flowers. So you want to kind of keep things small enough that they'll fit through. This is about a tablespoon of fresh parsley from my garden as well and about eight pimento stuffed green olives, cocktail olives finely minced. A little bit of freshly ground pepper, maybe a teaspoon. 
These are gonna be beautiful little poppers. So pretty for summer. Couple grinds of some chili flake. And we're gonna stir that all together. You want to thoroughly combine the all the ingredients together, evenly dispersed. Oh, they're gonna be so tasty. Now I'm not adding any salt to this because the olives are quite salty. They are canned in a brine and I don't think you'll need any more salt than what those impart. So we have a nice thick um, creamy stuffing that holds together nicely. I don't want it just to ooze but you do want it soft enough that you can pipe it into the flowers. Now make enough stuffing for as many flowers as you have. I'm gonna do a quick taste test. Mm, that is delicious. Mm, ready to do it. Well, I'm just gonna use a milk bag. We live in Canada and our milk comes in bags, not in uh, gallon jugs. So we're going to do this. Fold over the top of the bag, open it after it's clean, of course. We save these bags, they're nice and heavy duty. And I'm just going to spoon that into here, trying to keep it towards one corner. Don't waste a lick of this. Really fun, something a little bit different. All right, so we're going to go ahead and push that all to one corner. Squeeze it all into the corner really, really well. You want to tighten that in there, spin that. You're going to hold that in your hand and you're going to squeeze as you go. And you're going to keep tightening this bag as you squeeze out. So I'm going to grab myself my platter and then we're going to stuff them. As soon as you're ready, twist that back off again. And you're going to cut a large enough hole in the corner so that you can squeeze out the ingredients you have in here. So you know how big the pieces of cucumber and olive that you put in here. So you need to make sure that that's going to fit through there. So I'm going to cut a nice little corner off there. This is just going to make it much easier to fill these little flowers without wrecking them. So I'm going to fill the whole center. Think of it like a, an ice cream dispenser, the soft to serve. Around that stamen, them like this. Now you could leave them just like this open or you could close them so that they are completely enclosed. But I think they're beautiful just like that with their little faces right open. Okay. So rinse and repeat. Finish with all of your flowers or all of the stuffing that you have. So just put that in there in a swirl. You want to make sure that you see the red and the green colors. You want to be as gentle as possible with these blossoms. We'll see you in a minute. Look how amazing these look. Aren't they the most beautiful um, little tidbits you've ever seen? Perfect for a great birthday in the summer, maybe a shower, a wedding or baby shower. They'd be perfect. Um, and it's, you know, Christmas in July. That's kind of a fun celebration, right? You don't have to wait until Christmas to have a turkey. All right, mom, moment of truth. I'm here. Mom's off camera today, but she's gonna try some. What do you think? Oh, they're beautiful, Kim. They look like something that would be oh. on your Christmas tree. <laughs> Mom has all kinds of pink ornaments of every variety, mm -hmm. flowers and birds and things like that, really unique. Uh, that looks just like an ornament on your tree. Yes, it does. <laughs> Try one, Mom. Beautiful. Have one, Mom. Thank you. So you can bring them out open face like this, or you can close them all up so they look like closed blossoms. I'm going to grab the big one, the big giant one. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm. The filling is great. I love mm. eating flowers. <laughs> Me too. What a beautiful hors d'oeuvre, right? Um, hollyhock tastes vegetal for the most part, kind of like a lettuce. It's very mild in every way. So it doesn't really interfere with any other flavor. It's just the perfect accompaniment and a beautiful little pouch for whatever you want to stuff it with. Yummy. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm That's awesome. And the whole thing is edible. Oh, so good. And good for you too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. You could have added that. You like that? Mm -hmm. You could have added chives to that or any other of your favorite green herbs. Keeping with the Christmas theme, of course, but you don't have to. If you're gonna do these. Um, you can use any kind of variety of herbs that you prefer, okay? 
beautiful and that's how you do it that's how you make cream cheese and green olive stuffed hollyhock blossoms aren't they gorgeous want another one not right now i want to save that one let me sit down and really savor it right <laughs> man that's pretty i would be so impressed if someone brought that out me too wouldn't that be perfect for a baby shower mm -hmm. or a wedding shower mm -hmm. pretty darn cool and you, you grew that stuff yourself make sure that you grow it yourself you know exactly what happened with those blossoms. You have a lot of blossoms over the summer as well. So you can do a lot of different interesting yeah, things. You could do a great big platter of all different kinds of flowers. All different flowers. We have done a beautiful uh, nasturtium, stuffed nasturtiums with cream cheese and things. I'll put that recipe at the bottom of the screen. But boy, if you've never tried this or never tried stuffing flowers, make sure they're edible flowers first of all. Uh, nasturtium are a really great one. They uh, really produce well. The whole plant is edible. Uh, these guys, all kinds of flowers are edible, but look them up before you try and use them. Okay? So that's how you do it. That's how you make cream cheese and green olive stuffed hollyhock blossoms. You can do it too and you're going to love it. That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV and Amazon and other places like that. Come check out my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.